Hello everyone and welcome back again. Dear friends, we are discussing the model question paper for the CSE stream students, third semester, right? Subject code is BCS or BMAT CS301. Okay, so far we have discussed the varieties of problems uh, from the model question paper. If you have not watched it yet, you can go through the description box. You will avail all those videos. Okay, so let us uh, solve today another problem from the central limit term. Okay, this is the question number 8a. In a recent study report on the Flurry blog, the mean age of the tablet users is 34 years, right? Suppose the standard deviation is 15 years. Take a sample size n is equal to 100. Using central limit term, find the probability that the sample mean age is more than 30 years. Same, similar question whatever we had discussed in the previous lecture okay so write down first of all write down the given data what is the mean mean age of the tablet is 34 years that is mu is equal to 34 then suppose the standard deviation is 15 means sigma is equal to 15 right and take a sample size n is equal to 100 okay as you already know the formula that is z is equal to x bar minus mu upon sigma divided by under root of n this is called as standard error okay so <clears throat> let me write down this formula as it is z is equal to x bar by putting the values of mu mu that is 34 divided by sigma that is 15 upon under root of n n is the sample size that is 100 so i can write it as z is equal to x bar minus 34 as it is divided by this one 15 divided by under root 100 so 15 divided by root of 100 which is equal to 1.5 okay that is 1.5 now what uh, we have to calculate in this question see here find the probability that the sample mean age is more than 30 years means probability of x bar is greater than 30 this is the representation of this probability right we have to calculate this one so for this uh, particular calculation of probability we should put a value at uh, sorry we should put the value of x bar as uh, sorry 31st over here okay so i can write here at x bar is equal to 30 z is equal to 30 minus 34 upon 1.5 so z is equal to how much this is your 30 minus 34 divided by 1.5 which is equal to minus 2.66 so minus 2.66 is the z value now i have to calculate the probability of x bar greater than 30 which i can write as p of z is greater than i am taking z just because i have to check the value in the normal distribution table where z plays a important role okay so instead of x bar you write down p of z greater than 30 Th at 30 what is the x bar value minus 2.66 so i can write minus 2.66 right so there is the formula short formula over here that is probability of z greater than minus e so it is always equal to 0 0.5 plus phi of a okay small a right so this is your 0 0.5 plus phi of a that is 0 0.5 plus phi of what is the a value here 2.66 this is your 2.66 so i can write over here as 0 0.5 plus phi of 2.66 now you have to check this value 2.66 phi of 2.66 in the normal distribution table so in the previous video i have shown you how to calculate these values you have to check row wise and column wise so i hope you will calculate this one okay so 0 0.5 plus that particular value what i am getting here 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4962 you will get in the normal distribution table okay otherwise i will have i can show you in this problem also but it will take a lot of time okay to add that particular video in this particular video over here right so which is equal to so let me calculate this one 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4962 which is equal to 0 0.9962 0 0.9962 you will get the probability of x greater than 30 so it was in the question the uh, find the probability probability that the sample mean age is more than 30 years so its value is 0 0.9962 almost equal to 1 so this is all about today's problem thank you